Well, Chair Larson, Ranking Member Graves, and thank you for leading this issue that is of critical importance to my constituents here in Hawaii, which is aviation safety, aviation noise, and environmental impacts. Uh, Mr. Chairman, the number one issue in Hawaii is helicopter commercial air tour activities and the associated noise throughout the state which has been a topic of legislative and regulatory interest at both the federal and state level for over 30 years. On the island of Hawaii, in 2017, the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park experienced 16,520 commercial air tours a year, second only in the nation to the Statue of Liberty. That's an average of 46 air tours every single day, 365 days a year, on a, over one of the nation's most treasured national parks. And I really believe that Americans that go to our beloved national park should be able to experience them in its quiet and pristine condition. However, air tour management plans, first passed by Congress in 2000, 22 years later, have still not been implemented at Haleakala National Park or Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Now, according to the FAA, there are a total of 49 air tour operators conducting tours in the state of Hawaii. And at the core of regulation in Hawaii, is the Hawaii Air Tour Common Procedures Manual and the Air Tour Management Plans over our national parks. My question is for Mr. Welsh. The last time the Hawaii Air Tour Common Procedures Manual was published was in August of 2008. It is lived beyond its useful life and uh, needs to be updated by the local flight standards district office. There have been significant changes to population density and land use since then. And I believe that the FAA and our local FFDO need to implement new policies and procedures for rotary wing and commercial air tours because the current situation in Hawaii is unsustainable. So far, there has been very limited community input and lack of urgency in updating this manual. So my question is, do I have an, uh, or can I get an update from you on both the air tour management plan for Hawaii Volcano National Park in Haleakala and do you have an update on the Hawaii Common Air Tour Procedures Manual? And moving forward, do I have your commitment in working together with community organizations and neighborhood boards here in Hawaii through the local flight standard district office to update new policies and procedures and ensure that they are not written exclusively by the local FISDO and air operators? Thank you, Representative Kahaley. Um, just starting with the last one, uh, yes, you you have our commitment on that score. Um, the common, as you mentioned, the common procedurals man manual is something that um, needs to be updated, and the FAA's uh, flight standard uh, uh, organization is uh, planning to uh, update uh, the procedures associated with that and, and uh, modernize how we do that, um, and will absolutely include. Um, public and engagement um, with, the, with the communities in Hawaii be, uh, before doing that, while doing that. Uh, the second um, topic on the air tour management plans, um, the FAA and the National Park Service are currently uh, developing tw air tour management plans for 24 national parks. Uh, we expect to complete um, approximately uh, 12 to 15 of those um, by this summer. Uh, however, for the parks in Hawaii, it will take a, a bit longer to do um, because of the environmental considerations involved, the number of operations and considerations regarding tribal engagement. Uh, so we're uh, planning for that to take a little bit longer, um, but that's in part due to uh, the, the um, like I said, the level of uh, helicopter traffic there and all of the stakeholder uh, interest and consultations. Um, so, but, but we are hard at work on that, and we are very closely working with the National Park Service um, on those air tour management plans. Thank you. All right, thanks, Mr. Welsh. I appreciate your commitment on that. And mahalo, Mr. Chairman, and I yield back to him. 